That which you meet with harmony, you transcend. And so, if you can love everything, if you can show everything love, no matter how messed up or unfair or ridiculous it is, or how like terrible it is, if you can show those terrible things love and just like understand what might be going on or understand what like a person might be going through when they treat you bad or understand that people just don't understand everything that you might understand then and just like be at peace with what's happening then chances are you're gonna find a way around it chances are you're gonna be able to stay calm and move through whatever's going on and just move on to the next thing if you let it make you angry if you let something make you angry you're gonna be ungrounded and you're probably gonna make rash decisions rash decisions which are going to take you farther from your goal take you farther from where you want to be you're going to push the world farther away from you <clears throat> and then you're going to be more by yourself instead of if you treat things with love and you show things love and you just like you try to find the good in every situation you try to see what you can gain and what you can learn from every situation that you might be faced with if you do that, then you're going to bring the world closer to you. People are going to almost be forced to appreciate you, not be forced, but eventually they're going to come around. Eventually, supposedly, they're going to come around. I'm reading this book right now um, called The Pathway of Roses by Christian D. Larson. He's a really smart dude. And I'm in the chapter right now where it says, give your best to the world. And it talks about how you need to love everything. And then... all the obstacles will come out of your way and just like all this stuff. But you can't, you can't love everything for the reward. You have to love everything just because it's what the universe wants for you. It's what is the best way. When you love everything, it's easier to find peace. And I'm not saying it's easy, right? I'm, I still, I'm struggling with staying calm all the time, no matter what. Like when somebody, or when something is just like, it seems like baloney or bull spit, I... That's my trigger. And when other people get angry, that's also another trigger that I have. And it's probably some not good triggers because the best thing to do in those situations are to stay calm and then follow your heart, follow your gut. So like I said, it's not easy, but if you can find a way, I have faith that everything will work out for the best. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're having a great, awesome day. My name is Zacharias Crisanthu. I want to help you reach your fitness goals. I want to help you get stronger. And whatever other goals you might have. Mm. If you got questions or comments, get at me. I would love to chop it up with you guys. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace out. Thanks again for watching. Bye.